Hey everyone and welcome back. Tom Cornelius here, application engineer at 3M. Today's topic is going to be final metal prep. We're not quite ready to lay down our filler. There's a couple more things we need to do and we're gonna show you how to do those following the 3M standard operating procedures. So moving into final metal prep, there's a couple more things we need to do before we're ready to spread our filler. One of those is going to be, for example, if stud pulling equipment was used, we need to make certain to remove any residual pins or nuggets that might be on the surface. A great option here is a Scotch-Brite clean and strip disc, file belt tool, or even a Rolock. You wanna make special attention not to remove too much metal as the metals tend to be thinner. And we also don't wanna generate a whole lot of heat Again, if there's pitted paint in these areas, we wanna make certain to remove all of that pitted paint. If we complete these steps, at that point, we're ready to move on using a grade 80 to 120 grade abrasive. We're gonna go over the surface again. Strongly recommended that you use dust extraction with either a net or a paper abrasive. After we complete this sanding step, we're gonna either blow off the area with clean, dry air, or a great option that we have is to put a Scotch-Brite clean and finish disc on our dust extraction system. At that point, we wanna come back and clean the surface with a VOC compliant solvent-based cleaner. We wanna wipe until completely dry, and it's strongly recommended that we apply our body filler to the substrate as soon as possible to avoid any type of onset of oxidation or corrosion. If you follow these steps, you should find a lot of luck. Well, that wraps it up for our final metal prep. In our next video, we'll be ready to mix and spread our body filler if you like this video, please hit the like button. You can share it, you can subscribe. Feel free to comment or check out the 3M Collision Repair Academy. Thank you.